my fireflies, and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. It's me, Lyets. And Adelie. Here with the very first episode of the Cyan News, we have an urgent news bulletin. A very depressing one as mm. it goes. So, you want me to go ahead, or shall you? Eh, you, you can start it off. Okay, so, Nintendo recently released a news bulletin that goes along the lines of this, and I quote, As part of our ongoing push to ensure Nintendo content is shared across social media channels in an appropriate and safe way, we became a YouTube partner and as such, in February 2013, we registered our copyright content in the YouTube database. For most fan videos, this will not result in any changes. However, for those videos featuring Nintendo-owned content, such as images or audio of a certain length, adverts will now appear at the beginning, next to, or at the end of the clips. We continually want our friend, our, our friends, our fans to enjoy sharing Nintendo content on YouTube, and this is why, unlike other entertainment companies, we have chosen not to block people from using our intellectual property. For more information, please visit link. Okay, now, yeah. what exactly does this mean? Well, it sounds pretty benign until you actually look at what's happening. What is happening is that they have registered their IP with YouTube. They are also YouTube partners themselves. This makes it so that they can claim Nintendo-related content. This wouldn't normally be that bad of a thing. It's how they are doing it. Any Nintendo-related content is now capable of a third-party flag. And because of how YouTube does automatic third-party flags, any video up there, regardless of what kind of content it has, is now subject for copyright. They said they they wrote this in such a way that it's supposed to only affect LPRs. At least that's what the press release says. But that's not what's going to be happening. That is definitely not what happens in practice. It makes it so that anybody who has a Nintendo content-related video with... Over a certain length, I'm not sure if that is even actually a true thing. Anything with re Nintendo related IP in it as a visual or audio component is possible of is it can be flagged automatically by YouTube. There's no oversight to this. It is all a robot that compares your content to the content standard that Nintendo has, which is dangerous. Yeah, it's not just LPRs that are going to be affected on this, it's people who do walkthroughs, people who do journalistic reviews, people who go above and beyond when it comes to doing commentary if you do, over. If you do machinima, if you do guides on how to beat the game, if you do anything that uses any content from any Nintendo product, it can now be flagged and your monetization rights for that video can be taken away. I'm not even trying to focus on the money here. This is just bad business. Mm. This is a really stupid move by Nintendo. It's going to remove a lot of publicity from them. It's going to make it so that people are very much unwilling to cover their videos. I wouldn't either. What, it, what it's doing is it's setting a, a very bad precedence for these major labels. Yes, it very much is. Th this is the second it also big one that's done this. Microsoft yes. is the f it was, I don't know if it was the first, but it's a big one that's... Microsoft did release a very similar claim, but before I move on to Microsoft, I just want to point out that this, this kind of thing can also be damaging to your channel. If you mm. have third-party flags on your channel, it can actually damage your ability to join certain networks. It doesn't, for example... Uh, endanger your ability to join RPM, but it may damage your ability to join, say, Machinima or TGN, the Gamers Network. It's a really bad thing, and it's a pain in the ass. From what I understand, at least from some of the rumors I've seen floating around, that it's also possible they, they might be doing it via the content ID of your video, which means you will not even be informed that your video has been flagged. It will not demonstrate to you that it's not a claimed video of yours. It will just 
take the ad revenue and siphon it off directly to, to Nintendo, and it will still show up in your records without you knowing. That's bullshit. That is. I'm sorry. Pardon my French or whatever you want to call it. That's bullshit. That I'm is complete BS, and that is extremely unfair. You do not have the ability to... You will not have the ability to fight it because you will not know that it exists. Which is ridiculous. That's complete backdoor loopholes. It's just... No! Yeah. Now, as Lee did mention and reminded me, Microsoft has done a very similar thing. Their, theirs is a little bit more strongly worded. Yeah. Microsoft, in the past, made a statement. It was more a reinforcing of their rules because they kind of had this on the books for a while. They just didn't enforce it. As Lee, if you feel like reading. You may post your item to a page or website that has advertising, but only if you do not earn any money from that advertising. For example, if you post your video on YouTube or Vimeo, there ha and there happens to be advertisement next to it, then as long as you don't get paid for that advertisement, the fact that there is an advertisement on that page doesn't break the rules. But, enrolling in the YouTube Partner Program, or other similar programs, where you are, en where you are entering into an agreement to get paid is not allowed. On a similar note, if you create and distribute a free app that you can't, then you can't earn any money from advertising in that app. Forbidden titles to this include Halo, all versions, Forza Motorsport, all versions, Fable, all versions, Connect Connectimals, Connect Adventures, Connect Joyride, Age of Empires, all versions, Flight Simulator, all versions, Camino, Perfect Dark Zero. Project Gotham Racing, all versions, Shadowrun, and Viva Pinata. So you can't make videos on that. And Microsoft has worded it in such a way that they can issue copyright claims and have your channel taken down. So yes, while it is not precedented for... It is not unprecedented, Nintendo is doing what Microsoft has already done, and yes, they are doing it in a lighter fashion. It's still extremely nasty, it's more subversive, and it continues to affirm a precedent for other companies to follow. This is the only first-party development house for consoles. Uh, this is... Yeah, I'm wording this incorrectly. There is only one first-party development house for consoles that has yet to do this, which That's is Sony. Sony. Yeah. Sony actually realizes the value of having all this free advertising, at least for now. We don't know what they might do in the future, but for now, they are quite happy letting people make videos for their games. So if you're a YouTuber out there and you make videos that are based off of consoles, pick up a PlayStation, because that's the only one you're going to be able to do from now on. I mean, yeah, if you have an Xbox, you can do third-party games, sure, but be wary, because if the Xbox logo shows anywhere you're going to be in trouble. If the Wii U logo shows up anywhere, you're going to be in trouble. It's I just, this is so stupid, it's unreal. It, it completely blew my mind when I was reading these articles, and we're going to be linking two articles in the uh, in the comment box, so yes. you can take a look at them yourselves. One will be but, from Kotaku, and the other will be from Nintendo Go, or Go Nintendo. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Go Nintendo, this is the first time I've heard of it, but it's the Nintendo's official news thing. Anyway, uh, I guess the last thing I want to say is that this is an incredibly stupid move on Nintendo considering the recent fiscal year for them. One of the only things that has managed to keep them afloat is the publicity that they've gotten off of certain games like Zombie U and how big that kind of got. But the Wii U is doing very, very poorly, and this move can only do worse for them. It is not going to buy them any favors. I know a lot of people ended up picking up Mario U because of a Let's Play that Rooster Teeth did, for example. There's a lot of people who pick up these games simply because they see these videos on YouTube. And they, and they think, hey, that's fun. That looks like a really cool game to play. Yes. They're not going to be seeing that anymore. There are so few people who just say, oh, I watched a half an hour Let's Play. I don't want to buy the game. That doesn't really happen. YouTube is a platform that gets people really excited, it gets them really into the game, and they want to pick up the game and experience it for themselves. Nintendo is shooting themselves in the foot here. In a major way. And especially because of how business is going for them, I'm very concerned that this is just going to go very downhill for Nintendo very quickly. 
just rested? Anyway, for now, this has been Lyat. And Azalee. With the Cyan Firefly. We will see you all next time. Stay frosty. Get you later, Fireflies. <laughs>